Welcome back to VBG, your Firebird Restoration Station, the channel where we do just about anything to the first gen Firebirds. Well, actually, any year of Firebird. I just happen to be addicted to the first years, and I have a couple of them going on just the same. But the idea here was to share with you the journey of building these cars to help maybe guide you on yours, keep you motivated, keep moving forward. Because I tell you what, I didn't have these resources 20 some odd years ago when I started this. It was a lot of trial and error, and I hope to God it worked. And, Normally the results came out okay, but maybe I can expedite your process, get you there a whole lot quicker, give you some inside knowledge of what you're getting into before you get started. That was what we wanted to do here for you, provide you maybe some answers. And then we'll get into doing some more work on these old right, birds. Last week's answer, WTH Wednesday, this piece right here, if you would have guessed spare tire hold down, which mounts right here on these first gen Firebirds, well, this one in particular, you would be correct, because actually, if you got a mini spare convertible, they actually move this thing around for whatever configuration. But this car, correct location, right there. Now that I mentioned it, speaking of correct location for this, how did I know on this car? Well, it's pretty simple. I copied it off the old trunk floor and duplicated it onto this one. Now, let's just say you didn't have an old trunk floor to match it. This piece was missing. Or maybe someone's already put a trunk pan in your car and it's MIA. Well, that's a bit of a problem. But if your trunk pan has this on it, you want to duplicate it onto your car now, I'm going to show you a quick little tip how to do that because if you don't want to use the old measuring sticks and guess and hope you got it right, I'll show you a quick, easy, simple, and cheap way to do this. Now, the first thing here that I want to show you is this was the location where this piece used to reside. Now, obviously, I peeled it off here because I wanted to recycle it, but if you look here, I've actually highlighted these little dimples in the floor pan. Unfortunately, the reproduction floor pans, well, they omit these and don't put them on. Now, what you can see, though, and of course, a little distorted, but you'll see it's kind of a four points here. Oh, same four points here. You can imagine this is probably a space saver spare car. And then maybe this is a full size spare car because it gives you a little more room between the car. So this is how the factory, or I guess the assembly line guys, assembled these cars and knew a reference point where to put them. Like I said, though, the repop trunk pans, they don't put these dimples in there. I'm still working on a technique to put those back in it's for grins and giggles, but I uh, haven't quite figured it out entirely yet. But what I'd like to do though, is I want to duplicate this position and put it on that car. Now, if you're really good at these uh, calibrated measuring sticks, you could probably take some measurements from here to here, here to here, here to here, but there's weird contours, there's radiuses, there's weird shapes. Um, and sometimes those just don't want to work with me so great. So I've got a cheap, easy method. Use a bit of masking tape, make you an outline around where this actually goes, put it back in place for visual purposes, and you can make a nice pattern and a template basically out of tape. You can follow, there's a body line here, follow the body line here, then maybe even use this as a reference point. So I'll make a little, I guess, diagram, and then I'll peel it off like a sticker, like a location sticker, and transfer it over there, and I know I've got it right. goes according to plan you peel this off like a big old location sticker transfer it over there and i've already got it all figured out and then i have to use no geometry today i guess i suppose the trick is not to get it wadded up or stuck to itself Trace there. And there we go. Simple as that.
All right, so there you have it. Located spare tire, hold down the proper location. Yeah, good enough, because the factory's kind of use those little nubs. So I'm gonna stand within an eighth inch of what the factory was. So we're gonna call that good. And something else to keep in mind, these cars have a space saver spare, convertible option, and a coupe. Of course, that makes for a different sticker. If you wanna put the sticker back on the trunk deck that goes upside here, you better look it up and get the right one because there are different stickers. They're not the same if you really that particular hey, I hope you found that tip helpful. Got plenty more coming down your direction. Cheap, easy, how I do these things. Like I said, there's a probably the right way, the wrong way, and how I do it. I have no idea. It's just make this up as I go. Most time things I've tried over the twenty some years of playing cars, and I just want to share it with you to keep you going on your progress on your project there but uh something else i want to throw out there too you had a few people ask out in the old frame rail jig uh, how much would i charge etc to come by and maybe put those on for you well i really have no idea i don't think i necessarily want to charge you but if you're in the indianapolis area you've got a trunk pan and you've got some frame rails that need to be put together on a jig hit me up uh bring some orange mountain dew a spool of welding wire and we'll call it good and have some fun playing firebirds in the old garage or the driveway here so you know throw that out there for you guys in indianapolis area but maybe i'll put that in the back of the truck someday do some traveling frame rails yeah, whatever. that's maybe someday thing but i've said enough here this time around i'm gonna get the camera back out on the next part of this project but in the meantime i got one heck of a kind of a sinus infection thing head cold fortunately you can't catch it through the videos here from the youtubes but uh, i'm gonna get some rest i'm gonna take it easy get the camera back out next time and we'll see you guys then.